the Junction Mall Amazing Race. What? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I'm here at the Junction Mall again for the Junction Mall Amazing Race. It was a sunny Saturday morning and the contestants in the Junction Mall Amazing Race were all in a great mood as they waited for the race to begin. Everyone was in high spirits and the energy all around was amazing. The race had two teams who were ready to face off against each other for the ultimate prize. Let me introduce you to the first team, Team Black. The team that you need to be supporting is Team Kelly. You see my whole squad yeah. here. We yeah. What's it? If you ain't here, what are you doing? Today we're looking forward to a lot of vibes, a lot of fun. Squad here, Tapaka DJ. Yeah. <laughs> we out. Now let me introduce you to the second team, Team White. This is Team Mike Washira here at the Junction Mall Amazing Race. I'm here with my amazing team. The rules are pretty simple. All you have to do is go around the mall looking for clues and the first team to find all the clues wins. May the best team win. Let's go. The teams immediately began their first task, which was to find the initial clue that would kick off the race. All the team members were required to match 10 logos for various stores in the mall before they could get their next clue. Once this was done, each team was required to go into a tree and be within the junction mall. The task was to find a fashion store participating in the race, then fully dress a mannequin inside the store with clothes worth 2,500 shillings or less. My team picked the wrong store and this cost us time but eventually we were able to find the correct place to go and the race was on. We found members of Team Black already hard at work trying to find clothes for their mannequins. Team members had to quickly think on their feet as they calculated the prices and tried to make sure they were within the 2,500 chilling limit. It was a fun activity and it was interesting to see how contestants were struggling to find the right clothes for their mannequins. Some found it easier than others. My team members easily found clothes to dress our mannequin. But this wasn't so easy for many other members of Team White who were rushing to complete the task in good time. The next activity after completing this task requires teams head to smart gym where they were required to perform a sequence of exercises before they could get the next clue. Teams could nominate a person in their team to carry out the exercises giving them a better chance to finish in time for the next activity. It was a tiring but very fun activity which had a struggle not to embarrass ourselves and to perform to the best of our abilities. From here the race was on again, this time to find a place where you could quench your thirst, get fresh juices, smoothies and veggies. We then got our next clue which said, I have three flowers and two big blue tenant logos. We immediately made our way to the outside parking lot and found Team Black members already done with the activity. We made our way to the third floor and found the final clue with instructions. We were directed to head back to the starting point at the courtyard where most of the Team Black members were waiting for the rest to catch up. Alright, the race is done. Let us find out who are the winners. No. That's not came to win. As you can see, first place, we came, we saw, we conquered. It's God, you have to fucking need him. Okay, unfortunately, Team Black are the winners. It was a well-deserved win for Team Black who completed their tasks in time and who are now presented with shopping vouchers to spend at the Junction Mall. Team White also tried their best to complete the tasks. They were presented with branded bags which they proudly showed off. It was such a beautiful experience and a big thank you to the Junction Mall team for putting together such an enjoyable event. I look forward to the next Junction Mall amazing race. 
Until then, enjoy your shopping here where it's all about you.